Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Rangers of Shadow Deep. Uh, this is the uh, single player or co-op indie skirmish game by Joseph McCullough, the author of Frostgrave. And today we're on mission three from the core rulebook, part two, the Swampland. Uh, Bron Bearkiller's companions have uh, exited the giant sort of like, I guess like chasm descending down into Shadow Deep proper and they've emerged into some swamp dotted with ruins and some swamp zombies and all kinds of bad stuff. So they're gonna uh, get off the stairwell that they've exited basically and start descending into the Shadow Deep proper, trying to find some open territory where they can get a view of what's going on down here. The nothing is eating up everything. So I'll show you the forces and get this underway. So here's Braun and his friends ready to enter the swamp land. Um, you have to place a marker at the board edge and the board is played um, on a 24 by 24 inch zone. Uh, to you know, basically the bottom of the stairs. So I put this little, uh, I guess, like torch down. And they were dotting the stairwell on the way down. This one's at the bottom. Everyone has to play within two inches of it. So his companions today uh, are going to be Black Wolf. Uh, we've got Little Fox here, the, the rogue, Black Wolf the Knight, uh, Vigo the Man at Arms, and then our tracker, which is um, good old Renton at the back there. Uh, they all survived the previous adventure, although Little Fox got uh, pretty beat up. He was eaten by a fly or, or hurt by a fly. Uh, and then uh, poor old Vigo got just smoked in the back of the head by a rock during a landslide. Uh, but everyone recovers their full health at uh, sort of this mission. Um, and they have to enter the swamp in deep water. Basically the bottom of the stairwell, the first eight inches of this 24 inch board. And pro tip, if you're trying to resize your mats, and it became important for this one because of all the difficult ground and stuff, um, just get a, a square tablecloth and you can fold it over to make your mats any size you want them to be, which is super handy for Ranger of Shatterdeep. And I'll be doing it from now on. It just occurred to me between the last two games. Um, it means I have to make swim tests and there are terrible penalties for this first eight, first eight inches of ground. I, I could potentially take damage too. Uh, if you're wearing light armor, you are minus two to the roll. If you're carrying a shield, you're additional minus one. Carrying treasure, you're at minus two. You're always minus two fighting deep water while you swim. Um, and if you're carrying, if you're wearing heavy armor, carrying a shield, you're a total of minus six. So you have a target number of five, which means the poor black wolf there has to roll an eleven or better to not take damage and basically start struggling as he swims. Um, it's, it's bad. You lose all your actions and you take two points of damage as you begin to drown. So I brought a knight. The, the, I probably should have thought about this as we entered the swamp, but we didn't know it was swamp down here. We just, we're just adventuring for the king. Um, so there's going to be a grand total of, I believe, 10 turns for this one. Um, and there's about 12, you go all the way through to the red queen for your events. Now you need some gnolls or kobolds because I'm using kobolds for mine, just the null rules. Uh, lots of swamp zombies, some flies potentially for this mission. You scatter three clue markers, uh, and you scatter them basically D10 uh, from the middle of the table. So just roll D10, use the top to point the direction. This is where we all ended up. I rolled 10 going backwards, and then this one's just kind of stayed towards the middle of the table. Uh, and the clue markers, when you pick them up, can be all kinds of stuff. There's a bone blade, um, some ancient ruins with arcane writing, uh, like the fragments of a spell. There's a corpse, some strange flowers, and a treasure token that you could find as well. Last 10 turns, there's no target point, um, and we draw a event card at the end of every round. So let's go explore this and try and find the way out of this terrible swamp. Please make it to drier ground. <laughs> so, ranger phase turn one. Well, we need to shoot some bows and arrows into some, some dudes here. But first things first, we have to make a swim test for everybody. So, uh, Braun himself, he gets plus one from his swim skill, which I really didn't consider when I was building this guy. Uh, and he's minus two for light armor and minus one for a shield. So he's minus two to this roll overall, he needs a seven or better. We get it, so we can make our actions this turn. Now we do count as being in difficult ground, uh, so we, we're gonna start swimming, but we also need to shoot a bow and arrow. Oh my god, I'll be at minus two to shoot. I, I shouldn't be able to shoot. It actually doesn't, uh, maybe it's in the rules and I'm just missing it. It doesn't say anything about not being able to shoot when you're swimming, but it makes no sense that I can actually fire a bow while I'm swimming. So I'm gonna go three and a half. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you're in rough ground, Zombo. So you're gonna be going super slow, so I don't think you're, you're, you have a maximum of three inches of movement. So three and a half, halved again. It's gonna be one and a half, one and three quarters. So we're gonna head up a little bit further forward. Sits out of three, this guy, so he can't grab me in one round. We might as well group activate with as many as we can. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do Black Wolf just to see how this goes. Please don't die, buddy. You need 11 plus. Ah, he gets it! Oh, buddy, swim for your life. So it's half, half moves. He's going two and a half forward. And then two and a half halved is one and a quarter. So he's gonna move one and a quarter. I'm just doing all these at the same time because I can't shoot, so there's no point in me not just doing all these whole activations. Uh, and then we'll do uh, Vigo. He's minus two for light armor, minus one for a shield. So he needs a grand total of an eight plus. Crushes it. So he can go two and a half. He's going the same speed as Black Wolf, basically. Two and a half. 
and then one and a quarter, and we'll clamp to there. Phase the swamp zombies just start to to wade towards us. They go three. They go two, and then one, because they only move four. Never mind, they're amphibious, so they go six. <laughs> they're used to being in the water, apparently. It's not regular zombies, it's swamp zombies, Ash. Read the whole rules. Uh, going six, and then I go in six. Okay, good stuff. Well, and round one, starting on round two, we gotta draw an event card for round one. Nine of hearts. A giant fly at the base of the stairway. What? We closed all those holes! God damn it. Ultimate act of betrayal. Someone's hole wasn't properly torched. I blame you, little fox. You're the worst. All right, well, it's uh, now my my new... To oh, no, I forgot to make some tests for these guys. What am I doing? Last turn, these guys didn't even go. <laughs> I got so excited about everybody else making it. Little fox, he crushes it, so he's going to go three and a half. Uh, he's just going to book it. So he's going to go three and a half, which is to here. And then one and three quarters, which is to there. And then Renton. Oh God, he drowns! Use your stone, buddy! He's gonna use his once per game stone of fate! Yeah, and he makes it! <laughs> so he's gonna do the same thing. Three and a half, which will put him there. And then one and a quarter. Actually, one and three quarters. Let's put him up here. The fate stone was buoyant. Good job, Renton. So now we're on top of two, and we can group activate. We're in melee with a zombie. Oh, Ranger phase. I'm at minus two fight, so I really need to bring some friends in here. So I think we group activate with Dark Wolf. With Black Wolf, sorry. No, not with Black Wolf, just with um, Vigo, because Black Wolf's gonna get snapped too if I move him. So we're gonna go two and a half, and up a melee. The boss, oh sorry, I have to swim first. <laughs> Does he swim? He's fine. So he swims into melee with the zombie to help me. Uh, I stay in melee, because I can't do anything, and then we start stabbing. Well, we'll fight with Vigo first, the boss doesn't have to get hurt. <laughs> so, the zombies are plus zero, uh, I'll be at plus five, minus two. Because I'm plus three, plus two, and then minus minus two. So plus three overall. Oh god. Oh, super, we just took eight points of damage on Vigo. So he goes down to four and he's wounded. Right, boss man, you try and do better. You're at plus six minus two, so you're plus four. There we go, 19, it's armor 12, takes seven, it dies. You swim, you were fine. So this is why it was important we didn't go with Black Wolf, because it's creature phase now. We're gonna go Shablam, because that one's the closest. It's gonna fight me. Wolf's minus two, but he's plus four, so he's minus two overall, so zero to plus two. Uh, 18, he just slays that fly. Zombie's gonna go flying into Brawn, and then we're gonna snap in with Vigo, but then it stabs Vigo. He's wounded, so he's five minus four now, so he's only plus one. Come on, Vigo! Oh my god, it didn't do any damage though. And this one comes flying up six, doesn't quite get to Vigo. Soldier in time, Black Wolf, 11 plus. Nope, you drown, take two damage. 10, apparently that zombie fell on top of him when he killed it. Okay, well, Renton, time to move, buddy. Uh, you need a, you're just wearing light armor, so minus two. Good, we can move three and a half, which we will. And that should get us clear of the water, so plus a half should put us there. Are we outside eight of the table edge? Survey says, just. All right, uh, so we're gonna fire a bow and arrow in the second action of that zombie. It'll be plus one, because it moved, and I'll be plus two. Uh, 12, which is its armor, so no damage. No armor, yeah, armor 12, no damage. All right, little fox, you're gonna go investigate some clues. You're at no modifiers. <laughs> Roll a five. Just barely swim for your life. Uh, so you move three and a half, get to the edge of this, and then you'll go again, and it'll be one and three quarters. Just get through the doorway here. Get to that clue next turn, and that's everybody having activated. So end of two. Into the top of number three. Let's see what we got for an event. The Ace of Hearts. Randomly choose a hero in deep water. Place a swamp zombie in combat with that figure. If no figures in deep water, place one swamp zombie at the center of the table edge opposite the stairway. Okay, so everyone's in deep water except for Renton and Little Fox. So I guess uh, one to seven. Yeah, we'll reroll 20s basically, and we'll work this way. That's oh, gonna be you. He started to drown. Something's coming up out of the water. I think it was like a Jason Camp Crystal Lake moment there. Like a hand just grabbed him, he disappeared under the water. Or like the uh, the shack scene in Annihilation, where the, the girl just disappears into the giant shack and the crocodile grabs her. Uh, so, I could just keep making movie references, but I didn't reference Anaconda, so just be thankful. Uh, so, Ranger phase. I guess we group activate with everybody. I don't want to die. Ah. Yeah. No, if we don't group activate, we might get to fight more than one here. So we're just gonna activate Braun. He's gonna try to drown. Don't drown. 
we're good. Uh, and then we're gonna make a stab, we're at six minus two because we're in water, so that's gonna be uh, plus six to plus, plus four to plus zero. 16 to 15, we just barely do some damage. Uh, four damage of it's six, it goes down to two. Am tempted to push it back. What would that do? It would mean that we can't get gang up bonuses here. Yeah. If I do that, I could move as my second skill, which I'll do. So I'm gonna push you back to there. Uh, and then I've made my move, so I'm gonna go like laterally around and stay outside of an inch to there. Don't wanna be in the water next turn if at all possible. Um, yes, it stays, it would move an inch away from all fighters actually, so it would go this way, Never mind. It would go like this. I have to move it back this way, which means that I'd move that way. So I'd actually have to go that way, which is fine. Three and a half. Where do we go? Whoop. Should mean I can snap in to help Vigo because he's in rough shape right now. Um, so we'll start with creature phase. I guess it's going to be against Black Wolf. So Black Wolf has to fight this guy because he's in melee. Uh, he's my suit to his fight, so he's plus two. Oh my god. <laughs> it takes, he's armor 13, takes a damage. Goes out of nine. He's just flailing about in the water right now like idiots. Okay, uh, so then this guy goes. They're both about, an, they're both just over an inch away. So I'll just randomize. One to three, four to six. Because the one I can snap in on. Um, so, or sorry, one to ten, eleven plus. This is going to be this guy. So I gotta fight him alone. <laughs> I'm at fight negative one right now. Because I'm wounded and I'm in water. So fight negative one to fight zero. God! Oh, we did it! 16! Alright, so 16 does 4 points of damage. Uh, but it's... And that's just enough to kill it. Actually, I had 2 left. This jerk goes, and I can snap into this one with Brawn. But he's still going to fight the wounded guy. But I'll be 5 minus 4 now. Uh, which will put us at a grand total of... 1. <laughs> to 0. 14! Alright, we did something. We did 2 points. And we'll drive back an inch. I forgot one thing. Well, before we, I might actually have less health left than I think even. Um, I have to make a survival or will roll for everybody on the table um, when we first descend down here because there's fumes from the Shadow Deep just everywhere. So Braun, his will plus four, and it's a target number of ten. He's okay. Uh, let's do... Uh, Birch and Thaddeus are here. Vigo is will plus two, so we'll do a will roll. He's at two more points of damage. He's almost dead. He's only got two left now because of the fumes. And then Black Wolf, he's fine. Uh, and Little Fox, 20, he's fine too. Here you go, buddy, today wasn't your day. <laughs> well, that was all the creatures, so we can move on now. Um, I think we'll just do Black Wolf, 11 plus, don't drown. Does not drown. Uh, makes a stab into this guy. He's plus two, because he's minus two for being in the water. So 13 to 15, loses, takes two more points of damage, goes down to seven. I think I have to come back and help him. Didn't even get him out of melee. Oh, Bertrand. Uh, okay, well, it's gonna be, we're not gonna move into melee with this thing. We're just gonna move over here so we can plug this zombie with a bone arrow. Plus one, because I moved, and then uh, I'll be plus two. That's a 20, it's gonna kill it. Whoop. It's gonna go, he's gonna move on top of this thing. It's gonna end his activation, but let's roll and see what it is. Find some treasure, buddy. It's what you're here for, you're a rogue. Marker. Three. Oh, I'll try your token. You're the, you're the best, man. You just, you know what's going on. All right, are you within two and a half? You are. You lucky, you lucky son. Okay, so, but you're in the water still. Oh God, he's minus two. This, this will kill him. He'll literally drown if he fails this. He's light armor and shield, so he's minus three. I have to roll an eight or better. God, he drowns. <laughs> he's under the water, just pull him down. That's my companion phase. So we're going into the end of turn three, top of turn four. Let's draw an event and see what happens. Ha! Queen! Frenzy! Something in the air causes the evil models to be able to go berserk. Everybody gets plus two fight for the next turn. It's gonna be mostly cleared the table. Um, <laughs> you're gonna drown, man, if I don't come back and help you. This is gonna be awful. I don't even know if I should come back and help you, though. I really want you to get the survival point. Alright, well, ranger phase. I could shoot it. I could shoot it if I can manage to get it off him. So I think... I think we just wait with Renton and we group activate with, with the boss. And the boss is gonna move. He's gonna move three and a half. I just move the other side of this thing before he touches it. And we'll see what it is. Cool. Eight. Strange flowers. I don't recognize them. 
Make a survival roll to study them. Target number five, I'm plus one. I'm good. Every now and then when you're in the Shadow Deep, it's important to stop and smell the flowers and just see what happens. Uh, so this creature phase, it's just gonna straight up fight me. I gotta push it back. I just gotta win. It's fight two now though, and I'm also fight two because it's gotten frenzied. Something weird's in the air. Ah, we win, 18, okay. So it's armor 12, 18 is exactly enough to kill it. Phew, it's dead. Big foe, we just need you to literally not drown. Just, just don't drown. <laughs> Companion phase, don't drown, 11 plus. Oh God, he drowns. Another two points. Abs it and it like collapses on top of him and starts to drag him under the water. Everything is terrible now. Okay, well Renton, um, you're pretty speedy quick, but so is Little Fox. So I think Little Fox is gonna start moving first. Uh, he goes a grand total of one and three quarters plus three and a half, so five and a quarter. So he ends up here. Doesn't quite get to the next clue. I'm gonna help him because I just don't want him to die because <laughs> he might just encounter something terrible over there. So we're gonna head over after him. Whole table swamp. Uh, <laughs> and we're on to turn five. That was the end of turn four. Let's see what happens. End phase number two. Randomly choose a hero in deep water and place another swamp zombie in combat with them. Literally, there's just like a million Jason Voorhees in the bottom of this water, and Black Wolf has to kill them all. I love that at the end of this mission, Black Wolf is either gonna die a legend or or like emerge from this water victorious, having killed like 10 zombies. Oh, he's so screwed. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't even know what to do here. I think I think we just do we can we even help him? Like, how do we do this? I don't know what I can do. I have like very little I can do here. Except try and kill the zombie and get Black Wolf to be swimming. The Black Wolf can't swim very good. Oh god. I can give him bonuses to fight, I guess. We can move five and a quarter, which should get us in. We'll have to leap the last little bit. It's time to make a swim test. We can jump into the water. Um, and it's probably only gonna be how much how much water is there? I have to leap the last two inches, so uh, that's gonna be target number two. <laughs> I can leap up to three and a half inches. So uh, also one other thing I realized, I failed my last roll for him by six. So he's actually down to one health. Now, I read, read the swim rules again. It's not actually just a flat two damage every time you fail. It's what you fail by. That may have actually killed some other people earlier, um, but I, I couldn't I couldn't find the clips that far back, so we're just gonna play it from the last swim roll that he made, and he's at one health left. Which means that this is even more important. So, uh, Ranger phase, Bronze gonna move. He'll move three and a half. Or three, actually, and then he'll jump his last two. And three plus. We make it! So we jump into the water, splash! And grab this thing and try to pull it off of Black Wolf. Immediately gonna attack Black Wolf, because now it's the creature phase, and... Oh god, come on buddy, just... Just get out of here. You just need to win and, and get this thing out of here. <laughs> so, he's gonna be fight plus four, he's wounded down to two. Um, and then he's in the water down to zero, but he's plus two for the boss. So we can do this. Come on, Bron. Get this guy. Get this guy to safety. Save your man. Yeah, we do it. So it's a 19, maybe 21, and I have to kill the zombie. The question here is, does Black Wolf drown or not? Because it's a soldier phase. He has to roll an 11 plus. Just do it. Just live and get out of this water. <laughs> it just drowns, takes 10 damage. I guess there, but it was already too late. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go grab this one. King of all clues and see what it is. D20. 14. It's gonna be. A broken rune with some arcane writing carved into it. The figure should make a read runes, TN8, or discover the words in the fragment of a magical spell. Fox has no bonus to this. They just have to YOLO and 8 or better. We do! Ah, and Renton's just gonna move his five and a quarter just near little Fox. Try and keep him safe. You never know what's gonna show up. Top of six, it's an eight. So a giant fly shows up again at the base of the stairwell. He is, I don't know who didn't close that fly hole, but they're just pouring out of here, man. All right, Bron, stay out of the water, man. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's use our, our rock and try and get this thing okay. Oh my god, we still fail. Now my hand of fate didn't save me. I failed by, I need a six for him. Shield and light armors, minus three, sorry. I need a eight. I failed by four, so I get down to 14 as so I start to drown. Whatever got Black Wolf's grabbing me flies. So he just hovers right on top of me and attacks. Plus zero to plus two now because I'm in the water. I got a nine, Balls. a five, and loses. Armor six, I rolled 11, which is five total. Enough to kill it. Didn't die, that's good. Uh, and then everyone moves back to the middle to try and protect each other. <laughs> so we're gonna go five and a quarter, five and a quarter. Head to the middle, try and go get the boss. Six top of seven, another event, the four. The zombie at a random corner of the table. So one to five, we'll go clockwise. That's uh, gonna be right there. Turn seven range your face, just get out of this water, man. You can, you can do this, you just need an eight. 
Oh God, takes five more damage. <laughs> Down to nine. There's like things in the water. He is swim plus one, so he's taking two less damage because I keep forgetting to add my things. He should be at 11. The swim tests would be on sevens, actually, instead of what I rolled. So it would have been four and three last turn. Face comes swimming towards me, making the Jaws music. Da -da -da -da. And just, just put an arrow in this thing, finish it off. We're gonna fly over here and try and put an arrow in its head. Plus one for it because I moved. So plus two to plus one. Uh, it's an 11 to 11, it's fine. Not 11 to 12, actually, it's okay. And little fox is just gonna turn around and be like, keep me safe, Renton. On the seven top of eights, number seven. A sinkhole, randomly select a hero, the figure stepped in a sinkhole and becomes tangled in some vines. I have to make a strength 12 roll to be able to move from now on. Uh, this figure gets plus two to the roll for every friendly figure than one, but not in combat. So, random figure, I'll uh, reroll 20s, go clockwise. Uh, it's gonna be Renton. So you got plus one of this roll next time he activates. Stepped in a sinkhole. Great job, Renton. So that was this is top eight now, Ranger phase. Can I activate with Renton? I can, thankfully. Uh, so let's see if we can shoot this guy. So first, can can he even activate? Seven plus. Finally. Okay. So we're gonna move our three and a half back and get out of this cursed water. He's gotta try and break this. So um, he gets plus two to the roll, plus four, because there's two friendly waters within or friend, friendly people within one. Uh, strength 12. 19 is fine, so he breaks out of the, the hole that he was stuck in. Uh, and he'll move zero. Uh, and then they're both gonna shoot bows and arrows into the zombie. So I moved with Renton, or with uh, Braun rather, plus one. Nothing. And then I moved with, I technically moved, because I'll just inch him a little bit, because I did break out of the hole. So plus one for him again. And nothing continues its implacable advance six inches towards us <laughs> during the creature phase. Swimming through the water. The fox will stay where he is and guard the treasure. <laughs> it's bottom eight, top of nine. Phase for eight, the three. There's zombie in a random corner. One to five clockwise. Can we over down that edge? Heard about little fox and they sent more zombies. <laughs> All right, ranger phase. I just don't want to go near this water. So we're just going to let it come to us. And we will not group activate. Yeah, we'll not group activate, and we'll just let it let it come towards us. But we'll we'll fire a bow with uh, the ranger. So I'll move back slightly, and then shoot a bow and arrow into it. So it's plus one to my plus two because I moved. There we go, twenty uh, to four dead. The zombie comes hurtling towards little fox, as it can see him through the ruins. And then Renton's gonna move three and a half, so he can see it. But there'll be a piece of train in the way, and he moved, so it'll be plus two for its fight. An arrow into it. 17, so five points damage, there's one left, but it's undead, so it's not wounded. Little fox turtles. <laughs> and we're bottom of nine, top of 10. Last turn, last event. Let's see what happens. The final event of the game, number 10. Rain begins to fall. All line of sight is reduced to eight inches, and uh, all shooting is at minus two. Wow, so much for killing him, I guess. This is, I assume this is what shrouds our escape, and we make our getaway, and try and find the bodies of Black Wolf and Vigo in the water. He's gonna go, he's just gonna move to the middle. And get with his friends. And we'll not activate the other ones because we'll let this thing come towards us. It's gonna go six. So it comes with an eight out of the rain. And we can try and, try and take a shot at with Renton. He'll be minus two, he won't move. He's got one point of damage, so it's zero to zero right now. Just gotta roll better than it. And roll a 13 or better. We do! We do the one last point of damage and kill it because it comes out of the rain. And as the rain starts to fall, we make our escape further this way, I guess, out of the out of the swamp, out of the accursed water full of zombies, um, and try and find some solid ground. All right, well, both Vigo and um, Black Wolf have to make or, yeah, they have to make some naughty rolls here. So for Vigo, don't die, buddy. Just, just live. Oh, God, he's dead. Down a companion until the end of this mission, and we have to remove all of uh, poor Vigo's experience points. All right, Black Wolf, buddy, don't die. Eight, okay, he didn't die. He was very badly at a close call, so he lost a bunch of stuff, and he gets robbed. Yeah, lose all his non-standard equipment. The zombies take it, but he didn't have anything. So he gets back into the back into the fight. Right, well, let's see what happens with the, the swamp zombies and giant flies. We killed seven swamp zombies for 14 and two giant slides, flies for 18 total. Uh, we found strange flowers, which says 23. We study them for three more, so 26. We the spell was identified, so that's gonna be another eight. So that's gonna be 34. Didn't find a signet ring, didn't exit. Do we map the land? We'll map the land with uh, the boss, because he's good at mapping, and he does. 37 more XP takes Braun to 105, so he's gonna level up, and he gets to increase his skills. Guess what we're gonna increase? Definitely swimming and climbing.
Increased um, his strength and stealth by one, his swim by two to plus three, because we're not doing that again, and then his climb to plus three as well for another one. Um, so the max you can do any one skill is plus two. I, I was really tempted to, in ah, do I do that? I'm gonna take one back, and I guess increase my leadership by one. Instead of strength, leave strength to plus two and put leadership up to three, because that means the next time we level our skills, we can put it to a, a round number of five and not waste any when we hire companions. Run and Little Fox each go to four progression points, which means if they survive the next part of mission three, they will level up. Find a treasure token, and it's a 12, which will be an herb or potion. What kind of herb or potion do you say? A 12, again, which means we found a... Potion of Strength. It can be used once per game for plus one fight for the rest of the battle. We'll give it to Black Wolf because he's the kind of guy that might need that. So there you go, the end of part two of mission three of Rangers of Shadowdeep. Um, we made it off the stair through the swamp and we discover a ruined farmstead with some holdup survivors. They think the world has ended, and as far as they uh, they know, everyone is dead and it's just them still alive. But uh, having been met by at least one living soldier from Laurentia, they are told that Alador still stands by the rangers and they prepare to defend themselves as monsters close in and night gathers. So uh, mission uh, three, part three, will be in two weeks, and that's a last stand. We basically have to survive 12 turns as we are endlessly assaulted uh, I guess, um, uh, what is it, uh, Evil Dead style, by hordes and hordes of baddies, and we are joined by a bunch of civilians and a couple of archers, and a lone um, either knight or man-at-arms, we'll see who it is uh, when we actually start the mission. So we'll show you that in two weeks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough, and this will be our, our final part, basically, of the basic rulebook missions for Rangers Shadowdeep, and we'll have more stuff for this coming soon um, as Braun's companions move forward. So uh, yeah, two weeks, final mission. Check it out, thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm Ash. Stop worrying. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.